the wholesome and prototypical internet example. It's a cat in a cat screen. Another cat is watching. And this other cat is investigating the tree. Well, okay, um, not very exciting probably. But the internet is full of these things. Well, maybe we're not looking the right way. Because if you look to film, we are looking at more than just the image. Typically, eating an apple is very good. But this action is not actually healthy. And we know that not because of what we see, but also because we know what we know about what happened to this apple and who is this lady. In other words, we know narrative context. And this narrative context becomes especially important for user-generated video. User-generated video typically is spontaneously captured. It's raw footage, it's short, and let's be honest, it's in terms of quality really ugly. However, even if it's ugly, it's significant to you. It's significant, you know what you want to do with it. And maybe if you want to add music to it, you want to give it more meaning than what you're just seeing. So that's the idea of our music system. We don't start with a signal, we start with a story. We ask the user to first explain in a full text sentence what the video that we have with music is supposed to convey. And there are a few keywords that he has to add to that too. And based on that, we go into our system. There is a long-standing notion in musicology that musical meaning is largely encoded in popular media, mass media. And now, now we have the social era and all these collaborative online resources, we can use this with computers. So that's what we're doing. We take this plot of the user, we compare it to movie listings in the Internet Movie Database, IMDB. Based on plots that are textually similar to our user story, we can look in the IMDB for the soundtracks that went with these movies. And with the soundtracks, we can go to Best FM. Then we get social text back, and these are typically in the musical realm. Now, together with the keywords that we have from the user, we iterate a little more of the less developed vocabulary. We get music text, and we can use them to look into our production music database that we have, look into the metadata, and pre-select the thematically congruent songs to this video, to the intention of the video, that is. Okay, so then we're looking to the signal. Following ideas from music psychology, it's important to look at audiovisual synchronization. But then you still need to know on what kind of features you are um, synchronizing. So for that, before starting to implement anything, we run a user study. We asked many people, if we played audio to them, what kind of cinematic scenes they would connect to these sounds. Based on the, cons on the conceptual data they indicated, we chose timbre features in audio and motion features in video to base our synchronization upon. Of course, you're now really wanting to see some examples. So let's go back to this cat video. As I said, you might want to do more than what you just see. Maybe this black cat that was watching is really evil. Maybe the grey cat is an investigator. The inspector cop investigates the highlight of a dating serial killer. Well, we can have some action first. Maybe you want it to be more aggressive. But the video may also have another significance for you. Maybe this black hat is totally neutral and the grey hat is really adventurous. To boldly explore other new heights where no kitten dared to go before. So this was a very good sample of music. You can find many more videos, full versions of videos online, and you can also download sources of world-free data from our website. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>